So he's been vetted and he's really great. So you're in this hotel room and you're meeting with him. And at the start of the meeting, he says, listen, before we meet, I want to tell you, I've given you everything. I've told you everything that's been true. You saved American lives. Now you're going to do something for me. You're going to go out and you're going to get me a prostitute right now or I'm never cooperating with you again. So I want to see a show of hands. How many people would get him the prostitute? Some, not, not many. The answer is sure. I mean, you know, it's he's a scumbag, of course, but your job is to deal with scumbags, and you would, you would be expected to go out and get a prostitute. What if he asks for a child prostitute? Absolutely not, under any circumstances. But that's not the CIA talking, that's John Kiriani talking, because there's no rule. Your job as a CIA case officer is to break the laws of the country that you're serving in. That's your job. Your job is to commit espionage, which in most countries is a death penalty crime. Your job is to convince people to commit treason for you because they like you so much, or they like the money that you're giving them so much. So, because it's the nature of your job to break the law, there are no rules that are written for you to carry out that job. Now the problem there is that most CIA case officers would procure the child, child prostitute. And even if they felt funny about it, they would be told by headquarters, you have a job to do. This is a bona fide uh, source here. Go do your job. That's the problem, or the nature of the problem, of ethics and intelligence operations. There are no ethics and intelligence operations. I've come to the conclusion after all these years that there probably doesn't need to be a CIA. Um, I think that... Uh, I think that Daniel Patrick Moynihan was right in 1976 when he said that the CIA should be broken up. John Kennedy was right in 1963 when he said the CIA should be broken up. A decorated 14-year veteran CIA agent has blown the whistle and made a public statement to expose the Central Intelligence Agency for operating a child trafficking ring that procures children for global elite pedophiles. Former spy John Kiriaka, who also has deep ties to Hollywood from working as an advisor to the movie business, has revealed how the agency provides child sex slaves to powerful oligarchs in the entertainment industry, Washington, D.C., and beyond. Kiriaka says that they have sources installed in the upper echelons of society, politics, and the movie business. In return for information, the CIA provides these elite sources with a steady stream of child prostitutes who are usually raped and killed, and most likely never seen again. Knowingly putting his life on the line to go public with this information, Kiriaka made a public appearance to lift the lid on this horrific culture of child abuse. During his expose, he describes how he would meet an elite source in a hotel who would demand children in return for information. He reveals how he would secretly think of these so-called oligarchs as scumbags but that he had to give them what they wanted. To emphasize the scenario, Kiriaka explains how shocking the situation would appear to most people if the source was demanding adult prostitutes, at which point he asks the audience, how many people would get him a prostitute? When hardly anybody raises their hands, he says. The answer is, sure. You know he's a scumbag, of course, but your job is to deal with scumbags and you would be expected to go out and get him a prostitute. But what if he asks you for a child prostitute? Your job as a CIA agent is to break the laws of the country you are serving. That's your job, your job is to commit espionage. Most CIA officers would procure the child. John Kiriaka served a 14-year career as a CIA officer that included thrilling, yet dangerous, tours as a specialist in counterterrorism. He successfully recruited several foreign agents to spy for the U.S. in Athens, in 1999 and 2000, and at one point was the target of an assassination attempt by leftists. In 2002, he chased Al-Qaeda members in Pakistan, and when Al-Qaeda logistics leader Abu Zubaydah was wounded and captured, Kiriaka guarded his bedside. Kiriaka wrote a colorful memoir, where he recounted many of his exploits, called The Reluctant Spy, My Secret Life in the Sea.I.A.S. War on Terror. 
After retiring from the agency in 2004 he took a job with the accounting and consulting firm Deloitte. Recently he has been working in the corporate intelligence field and as an advisor to Hollywood filmmakers on the side. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Share the video if you find it interesting. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos and news updates around the world.